assistant chief over criminal investigations. To my right is assistant chief Larry Satterwhite over Homeland Security. And to my left is uh, uh, Knight, uh, Lieutenant Commander uh, uh, Larry Cross. So we're out here today on a really unfortunate incident. Let me start at the beginning of when it occurred. About uh, 1757, which is 557 this evening, uh, we got a call. The call originally came out as a, a traffic accident, a major accident in the middle of the freeway. Uh, HFD got the same call. I don't know what their descriptors were, but HFD ran on this call as well. Uh, they arrived at the scene first, but we arrived uh, at 18 at uh, 602. So we arrived in uh, it's five, five, six, seven minutes. So the response was really good on both agencies. Uh, when they got here, we found that it's actually a shooting scene that occurred in the middle of the freeway. So what we know so far about the shooting is this. There were two vehicles coming down eastbound on the freeway. One of the vehicles struck the other vehicle and spun it out, similar to like a pit maneuver we use. When that vehicle spun out, there were two occupants in the other vehicle. They got out of the car. At least one of the occupants had a weapon. He began firing at the vehicle that he had just struck. That vehicle came to rest in the middle of the freeway. He actually pursued the vehicle as the vehicle rode down the hill, firing rounds at the vehicle as it rolled. At one point, the vehicle came to a stop. He got in front of the vehicle and fired rounds into the front windshield of the vehicle. There are two occupants in the vehicle. Both occupants are deceased. Uh, I'm not going to give any names of anybody tonight, but uh, it's unfortunate what took place, but there were narcotics in the car. We don't know exactly what the nexus was behind this. Uh, road rage, an accident, uh, narcotics, we just don't know yet, so I won't speculate, but I will say there were narcotics found in this vehicle. Uh, the shooter, after firing rounds into the front of the vehicle, obviously at 6 o'clock in the evening there were a lot of witnesses. We have some that stayed at the scene. Uh, one of the witnesses that saw the shooting taking place witnessed the shooter shooting into the vehicle. He had his pistol with him, the witness did, in his vehicle for his personal safety. He saw the suspect turn towards him. He thought he was going to be fired at, had no idea what was going on. So he fired uh, several rounds at the suspect. He doesn't know if he hit the suspect, but it did cause the suspect to run, run back up the hill and get in the vehicle and leave the scene. So at that time, there were several witnesses that got out of their vehicles. A couple of, uh, of witnesses were uh, have EMS training, and they were they were good enough to stop. They started rendering aid on aid on both the driver and the passenger. They provided CPR to both of our victims until HFD arrived at the scene, and then HFD took over. Unfortunately, both of the victims passed away here at the scene and never uh, regained consciousness. But we want to thank those two uh, Good Samaritans for stopping and trying to save lives. Uh, they were trying to to, uh, uh, to hold them on until HFD got here. It just didn't didn't happen. Uh, we have a couple of witnesses that stayed, that, that, uh, but we know several witnesses drove around this accident. And it's 6 o'clock, so anybody that saw this accident uh, that we know now is a shooting, Please let us know, call HPD, and please let us know what you saw. The, the slightest thing could help us, even if you were in front of it and maybe saw something in your rearview mirror. doesn't matter. We'll take any leads we can. We do have some, uh, some witnesses here, but we'll, we'll take any information we can ascertain. What kind of description do you have on the suspect? So we, have, we don't have a good description on the suspect yet. We believe there are two. We don't believe there were two shooters, just one, but we're not positive. Uh, the dis only description we have is a Hispanic male, and I don't, we don't even have an age. So I, I really can't narrow it down, and I don't want uh, to do that until we know for sure. Both occupants of the vehicle were black males. Uh, don't know their ages, and, and we're not looking yet, but they appear to be middle-aged uh, black males. Does it sound like they knew each other? I mean, it, it almost sounds like this was, you know, I know you, I'm getting you kind of a thing. Oh, well, yeah. yeah you know, I'll answer it this way. As crazy as things are right now in our society, was this a road rage incident and these guys just happened to have narcotics in the car? Was it an accident that occurred and one driver got mad and because 
we just don't know anymore, right? Or it could be a narcotics uh, uh, drug case, you know, drug rip, we call them. And we just don't know, so we're not going to try to speculate. Homicide's out here, narcotics is out here. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of officers blocking the scene for traffic, and we're going to be out here for a little while longer, so unfortunately, the traffic's going to be bad for the next hour or so, or probably a couple hours. But uh, so we don't even, we don't have a good description of the vehicle. We know we believe it was a sedan, but we can't even tell you what model yet. Uh, I think what what really happened is a lot of people, and I'm just speculating, but I think a lot of people thought this was just a major, just an accident. So like we see them all the time on the freeway, they just drove by it, right, going home, and didn't realize the shooting was happening until after the person got out of the car, and that happened so fast, those that left probably never even saw it. But we thank those that stayed and, and did witness. And it did start out that way. It started out with him ramming the other car, right? From, from what the witnesses say, one vehicle ran the other. It spun that vehicle out. That vehicle came to rest uphill and was rolling downhill when the striking vehicle, the two occupants, got out of it. One of them had a gun and began firing rounds at that car as it rolled downhill. When it came to a stop, he made it all the way to the car and continued firing rounds into the front windshield. So the striking vehicle, they, they hit the car, then that's the vehicle the shooter is in that proceeds to fire on the That is correct. Chief, that's, that, that's what we understand at this point. Sure. How scary of a situation this is to have a rush hour incident? Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I mean, we all drive these freeways going home, you know, all of us. And, and road, rage, road rage is bad enough, right? A major accident makes you mad on the way home, right? Well, seeing something like this to, to a normal citizen is just, it's, I mean, our witnesses are, are disturbed. I mean, this is a disturbing scene, right? We see it every day, and it still disturbs us to see this. So, no, it's, it's a major incident. It, it shouldn't happen. Uh, we don't want this to happen in our city. Uh, we don't know the reason, but we're going to find out the reason, and, and we'll, we'll end up uh, giving more details later. But we just don't want to speculate. But, no, it's, it's, this is a scary event to happen at 6 o'clock at night. Uh, in a busy freeway. Right, I mean, you don't, there's something you don't see very much. No, we don't. Just to clarify again, Chief, the, so the shooter was in the vehicle that was struck? No, the shooter's vehicle struck the vehicle that we have sitting up here with the two occupants deceased. The striking vehicle exited his vehicle. At least one, we believe two individuals, exited the vehicle. And they're the ones, at least one, fired rounds at this vehicle that he had already struck and then continued firing all the way up until he got to the car window. You know, was the driver the gunman? Was the, the driver the person that we, had the gun? You know? We just don't know that yet. But we're, we got a lot of investigating. We've got witnesses that stayed, which we're really thankful for, uh, the people that took time to stay and tell us what they know. We still even haven't interviewed all of those. So we believe we're going to get some good information. But I do want to stress anybody that drove by this and thought, well, it's just a wreck. You know, maybe they can identify the car, that, the other vehicle in the wreck, right? Anything they know is going to help us. So we want anybody, everybody to come forward. Can you tell us about the gun that was used for scanner traffic and witnesses describing it as a long gun, a long gun? Right. So I don't know. Uh, and once again, that's part of the investigation when we look at the casings. Uh, we do have witnesses that say it was a long rifle that he was firing. And what I mean by a long rifle, uh, it was a gun similar to uh, an AR-15. One of the witnesses saw the weapon. He said he's familiar with firearms, and he believes it was uh, a AR-15. Do you remember anything like this in recent memory? Road rage, unfortunately. We see that all the time, but no, no like nothing this. to this level. No, no right. not in the middle of the freeway at 6 o'clock in broad daylight. No, sir. How many rounds do you estimate were fired? I'm not going to speculate on that, and, and, and uh, I just would say multiple. Where exactly did the victim's vehicle fall up? Uh, I don't know. Can you, are y'all not getting a look at it? Right on the other side of our vehicle. Well, those people are standing. I'm sorry y'all didn't get a good look, but if you can get over there and get a sweep of it, that silver car is the victim's car. What's the message to the suspects out there tonight? Well, the message is we've got witnesses. Uh, we have leads. Uh, we absolutely believe that a lot more witnesses are going to come forward because we really believe more people saw this. It was done in broad daylight. Uh, we have a great investigative team at HPD. And, uh, and our goal is to catch these guys, and we fully intend on doing that. One last question. I don't know if you already said What kind of car did the victims fit in? Did they have the gray one? What kind of car? Uh, I'm not, I did not, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even look at the model. It's a four door sedan, and it's silver. All right. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else?
and, and listen, we'll update y'all when we know more things. But once again, please put it out that we need any witnesses to come forward. Thank y'all. I'm sorry. I'll it's okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, do you mind if we can witnesses? Yeah, do you, just, just on this mic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Don't want to be in this one at all. Can you give your name and... <laughs>